Hi and good day. Having forward head posture is a major epidemic. It's a very serious condition that leads to many degenerative problems, many health conditions. Not only as children who spend so much time looking down, texting on their computer, but us as adults as well. We're just as guilty with all the long hours that you spend at work, at home, things that you do day after day, you're putting excessive stress on the back part of our muscles, of our neck and our shoulders, causing this rounding of our shoulders and causing a lot of potential degenerative problems. Our head weighs about 12 pounds. And the reason why we have a normal cervical curve, an inward curve in our neck called a lordotic curve, is that those seven vertebrae in our neck can equally distribute evenly throughout the neck that 12 pounds of weight. Now, as our head goes forward, the weight compounds tremendously that at an inch, inch and a half, it will go to 32 pounds. Up to three inches forward, it will go to 42 pounds. Now imagine the extensor muscles, the splenius, the longissimus, the upper trapezius muscles are working excessively in overtime, excessively hard to hold that extra 30 pounds of weight back so the head doesn't fall off. So that in itself is causing an overstressing of the muscles, causing excessive stress on the ligaments and causing a tremendous amount of inflammation that's occurring that's potentially giving you a lot of your pain. Now, just not neck pain, headaches, mid back pain, low back pain is even even as well as shoulder pain. Your inflaming nerves, the nerves that come out of the neck, go down the shoulder, down the arms, into the hands, tingling, numbness, cramping, aching. But what's even more important, the viscera, the lungs, the intestines are all indirectly related to proper posture. That as your posture becomes sluggish and as it goes forward, inspiration, the amount of oxygen you're getting into your lungs is diminished. You're getting a closing effect with the ribs within the intestines that cannot produce proper uh, digestion. So all in all, it's just not affecting your neck. It's affecting many systemic organs and tissues throughout your body. The big factor with degeneration, as this head continues to move forward, the imbalance is then placed on the front part of the discs. Those discs called intervertebral discs, is where the nerves come out between the vertebrae. And as these discs degenerate, the discs become thinner, potentially putting more inflammation and irritation on the nerves. This eventually leads to bulging discs as well as herniated discs. That in itself can start a whole new cycle of pain, of radiation into the arms, as well as radiation inside the shoulder blades. Herniated discs are related to forward head posture. This is causing a tremendous amount of load on the disc, causing the annular fibers to weaken, causing the inside nucleus pulposus to protrude out because of the instability. That weight of your head carrying 30 pounds more, which is actually up to 42 pounds of stress, that load is just wearing and tearing those discs and you're not feeling it. Make sure that you keep the ears over the shoulders. Make sure that when you look down, jut the chin in instead of looking down for prolonged periods of time. Change positions frequently. Stretch the neck. Get up often out of your chair. You must prevent these muscles from over contracting, being overstressed. The over contraction of these stresses of these muscles are going to cause other parts of your body to start to compensate it for that weakness. So, Make sure you're changing positions frequently and be very careful with the way you're looking down. I also want to mention that as a result of forward head posture, this affects your equilibrium. It affects your balance. Uh, we can look at all the hundreds of thousands of, of falls that, that people take as a result of getting dizziness. This is all indirectly related to the nervous system and affects the, the, the a normal proprioception, which is how the, the body is actually communicating with the brain at all times. Proprioceptive signals from the first four cervical vertebrae in the neck 
are all directly related to the endorphin levels of the body and how the endorphins are secreted. Because of this forward head posture, at those levels in the upper cervical spine, it's affecting the normal production of normal endorphins. This has a direct relationship with people who have chronic pain. So people who have these chronic conditions, by helping to restore normal positional posture of the head, can help reduce a significant amount of pain and problems that they're having. With the normal position of the ears over the shoulders, you have 12 pounds of weight from the head that's equally being distributed throughout the seven cervical vertebrae. That is considered normal posture. The normal cervical lordosis is supporting and stabilizing the weight of the head. As the head moves forward, an inch to an inch and a half, that becomes 32 pounds. And as it moves out to three inches forward, it then becomes 42 pounds. 42 pounds of weight that the body is trying to withhold. The splenius, longissimus, upper trapezius muscles, the extensor muscles behind the neck is trying to withhold that head from, from moving fo any more forward than it can. It's becoming overstretched, overtaxed. The muscles are hypertonic. You then start developing lots of trigger points all around that area, that's, which then sends referred pain to other parts of the body. It may be the mid-back, the chest, or down the arms or to the hands. In conclusion, I want to stress that forward head posture will lead to detrimental effects of the body. Not only from pain, but from function, that the organs and tissues are all working together. When one thing becomes off, the other tissues and organs have to compromise and compensate for that instability. So I urge you to make sure that you are being more conscious of proper posture, making sure that the ears stay over the shoulder, because as the head stays forward over the course of time, it becomes irreversible and it only continues to get worse. The discs only continue to degenerate and as they degenerate, eventually they will lead to herniations and eventually on the nerves as well, causing a, signif causing a significant amount of pain and dysfunction. So as I say, beware, this is your health and the future is your wealth. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.